sentence, like the other two points, what are we to say about the implication of John's spiritual title of us in the church as young men and its theological truth? I think Jesus in the Gospel of Luke is helpful here as we wind things to a close. In Luke chapter 10, verses 17 through 20, we find this situation where Jesus has sent out 70 of his disciples to do ministry, to go ahead of him in a sense. And then the 70 return. And it says here in verse 17, the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said to them, I was watching Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you in my name, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. (laughs) Yes, through Christ who lives within us, in his name, we have been given authority over the evil one. In his name we tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the evil one. We are untouchable. We cannot be injured. It is as Paul said in Romans, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Not principalities and powers and demonic angelic forces. We are untouchable and cannot be injured. Even the devil cannot separate us from the love of God. Therefore, just like these 70 disciples, we rejoice. If you're in Christ, the devil's not going to take that. Oh, it can get dark. It can become despairing and depressing, even at times bordering on hopelessness. But at the end of the day, Christ promises to hold us. John chapter 10, we can't go there this morning, but so we rejoice. But yet, Jesus says there is cause for even greater rejoicing in an even greater reality, right? Go ahead and rejoice, right? You're treading on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the devil. Rejoice in it. Go ahead, church. Enjoy your day in the sun over the demons and over the devil. But there's an even greater thing to rejoice over, an even greater reality, and that reality is that our names have been written in heaven. Yes, church, rejoice in the authoritative victory over Satan through Christ who lives within us, but, oh, rejoice even more that your name has been written in the Lamb's book of life. Incredible. Incredible. And again, so much can be said, but in summary, John is saying to those who abide in the light that we are like vibrant, strong, muscle-bound, healthy, hard-working young men with the word of God dwelling in us richly, overcoming the evil one everywhere we place our foot. So now go and rejoice Not only in this, but also in the fact that our names have been written in heaven. Not only do we know God, but God knows us. Rejoice.